Well, hello, my YouTube family. Uh, uh, yes, Lord Jesus. That wonderful day. I can't bitch and moan. I really, you know what? If I start to bitch and moan for today, I mm, somebody kick me in the ass. Because Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, sweetheart. She left on Wednesday. So... You were fine yesterday, and you were definitely fine today. Even though, you know, Fridays ramp up to Mondays. But lately, I don't know. Maybe these aides are finally getting the hang of the fact that they can mail in their timesheets. It is looking more and more empty, at least on Fridays. We'll see what Monday holds. But I have to say, I definitely see an improvement because... Even though the aides have to come in pretty much almost every day, there's like a class or something, some kind of seminar or something that they have to see and take or whatever. Every day, by 9 o'clock, my reception area is emptied out. And then here come the late stragglers that come in 9.15, 9.30. And I just shove them into the, go to the class. And I am free for... A good amount until, you know, people come in. They want their timesheets. I want to see my coordinator. I want to talk to the payroll department. I want to see HR. The regular. But for the most part, I cannot really bitch and moan about a damn thing. So, and, and she's not here. And she's not here. So, I'm good Monday. I'm good Tuesday. Either she's going to still be out Wednesday and come back Thursday, or she'll be coming back on Wednesday. I'll fill you in, of course. But I cannot, cannot bitch and moan about a damn thing. And, well, you know, I would have shown you my Dunkin' Donuts bag if I went to Dunkin' Donuts today. I did not. People, I'm getting a little tight in my sweaters and my pants. So Nancy needs to zip the lip. And plus there's a co a, a co-worker. God bless her, but at the same time, she's a little bit much. She has been giving me food that I think she makes or she orders with a few friends and then she just gives me the leftovers, which I don't have a problem with. I would rather eat the leftovers than toss really good food in the garbage. And all her pizzas are different. She has pizza with pepperoni. She has buffalo chicken pizza. I was iffy at first on that one, but then I tasted it last week. People. And today she gave me a bag with food in it, of course. And she said, there's a surprise inside. I said, oh, if it's my buffalo chicken, I don't even have to cook anymore, people. She is feeding me. Not exactly the healthiest of foods, but she is feeding me nevertheless, which leaves me out of the kitchen more often than not. I'm telling you people, what? So tonight, I, you know, all I have to do is shove it in the oven, warm it up, take it out, eat. And I think I even have lunch for tomorrow. So I am good, but I really have to zip the lip. Because I know now that she's giving me food at least once or twice a week. So Dunkin' Donuts won't be seeing me. Uh, bacon in a bag won't be seeing me. Snack and bacon, whatever the hell they want to call it. I like the way I named it, okay? Bacon in a bag or, or, or was it bacon in a bag? Then I thought of one this morning. I thought of another name. Bag of bacon. Bag o bacon. You know, bag o apostrophe bacon, bag of bacon, bacon in a bag or bag of bacon, whichever way you want to call it. Of course, Dunkin' Donuts has their own lame name, which is snack and bacon. It doesn't even have a good zippy name to it, snack and bacon. Really? Bacon in a bag or bag of bacon. Well, either I will not be visiting the Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, for quite some time. I don't know if this is a limited edition situation, but whatever the case is, 
I uh I have to zip the lip because you know squeezing in the pants and the sweaters are feeling a little mm, you know the very loosest of the loose sweaters that you used to have are not so loose anymore and it's not because the sweater's shrinking uh no something is growing and I really don't need to go another size higher that is not going to happen so I'm gonna do what I did I think I did this in college or I did this in high school or something. I would just eliminate soda from my diet completely. Just eliminate it. But it's difficult because when I have to go to lunch, I usually go to McDonald's or I go to Wendy's and you always have the combo with the soda. And I can't, although McDonald's is kind of easy. I think Wendy's, I can do it too. I think, doesn't Wendy sell iced tea? I can change the 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 drink from a soda to an iced tea an iced tea is basically you know water or fruit punch which which mcdonald's sells so instead of ordering sodas i'll just either order an iced tea or a hawaiian punch now it's it's damned if you do damned if you don't because with the sodas and the sweet iced tea or the hawaiian punch there's sugar involved so damned if you do, damned if you don't. But I'd, I'd like to think that there might be just maybe a little less sugar in the Hawaiian punch and the iced tea because iced tea is basically water and Hawaiian punch is, you know how they pour, when you watch them pour, most of it is water and then just a smattering of flavor. So I'm going to assume that I'm drinking more water than an actual carbonated drink. So instead of ordering, you know, a combo with what soda do you want? No, I'll have an iced tea. So we'll switch that up, see how that goes. And I'll do that for a few months and see if I lose at least an inch or two around the waist area. Because the belly that I am carrying with me, you would think I'm about five months pregnant. And the ass for days, it's not a J-Lo butt, honey. This is just ass for days, okay? So, yeah, we need to nip it, nip it. And the whole, you know, three, six, ten, uh, look at that. So, and I have looked at my old videos where my face was a little bit smaller. And I didn't have all of this. And then as the years progressed, you could see a little... Mm -hmm. fatter and fatter and fatter and my face is just filling up the screen filling up the screen filling up the screen I cannot have that people so yeah I'm not going to say I'm on a diet because I'm really not I'm just switching things up a bit that's basically it I will not deprive myself I'm too old to deprive myself of nothing you know I, I have nobody to impress other than myself, but, you know, I would like to impress myself by, you know, at least sliding into a pair of jeans or sliding into a pair of my favorite pants instead of struggling to get into them. And I'm at the struggling stage and I don't like it. So there you have it. So that's basically it in a nutshell. I wanted to go get my Jeep inspected tomorrow. The funds are not there yet. So maybe next Saturday I will do that. But right now, as it looks, it's going to be a max and relax weekend. I won't have to go out. I won't have to do jack nothing. I don't have to go to the bank. I don't have to. Mm -mm. I'm good. I am good. Uh, as far as like an Amazon order, of course I placed an Amazon order, but nothing fun. I think the fun days are really, they're, they're petering off people. They really are. If you'll notice, I have been shopping my stash for over a year now, going into two and I'm having fun. I hope you're still having fun with me. I mean, I know it's always fun to have a new something, a new, a new, a new, but 
my money can't do new, new, new all the time. And I, I'm sure some of you do understand that. It's not like I can rely on my husband's account or anything of that nature. I don't have one. So, you know, it is what it is. Those of you, that's why I think I've lost so many subscribers. But at the same time, I've noticed I've gained a few. And I'm very happy. Welcome aboard. Stay along for the ride. It's never really dull. At least I'd like to think it's not dull. And, you know, just have some fun with me, people. Just have some fun with me. It's not like I'm a 20-something YouTuber, influencer, or anything of that nature. I just like doing YouTube videos. I've always said it. I've always loved it. And I've been on YouTube since 2011, and I'm still pushing along. So hang on with me, won't you? Have a good time with me. Have a good laugh with me or a good, you know, as your eyes pop out of your head, if I'm ranting and raving and just going crazy. I have had some rants in my day. If you'll notice, I haven't been ranting that much. So I'd like to think that's a good thing, although it may not be entertaining for you. Some of y'all are twisted. Y'all love when I rant. And I'm dead serious. Like when I'm ranting, I'm dead serious. But y'all are just laughing and having a good old time eating your popcorn and your potato chips on my expense. That's okay. You know, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. I still love you no matter what. And so that's just that with that upon that I, I plan, I plan, I plan on falling asleep on sofa uh, tonight. For sure. For sure. I mean, I have good intentions of watching whatever I'll be watching. I've got a whole bunch of, I've got a week's worth of The View to watch. I got to catch up on that. Uh, still, I've got some Chicago PD marathons. So you just know that I'll be watching whatever, it's, it happens right after I eat. Because the itis, I don't know, maybe the itis kicks in faster the older you get. It doesn't kick in as, as fast as when I was a lot younger. Oh, it would kick in. But I'm a lot younger. I still have a lot more in I still had uh, a lot more energy. And, you know, I'm an old fogey now, okay? I uh, don't have the metabolism to break down the food as fast as I did in my 20s. So after I eat, I push back and then I just sit back and whatever's on the TV is on the TV. And if I open up my peepers again, whatever was on the TV has gone and something else I'm watching. It is what it is, people. What I, <laughs> what I really do not want is to fall asleep so hard that my father comes home and I don't hear him. And I wake up in the middle of early dawn, two o'clock in the morning, like I did a few weeks back. I really don't know what happened. I laughed at myself as I was, I closed everything up and I went, I went to bed. It was two in the morning. I did not hear my, I usually like to stay up so I can hear my father come home and then I can, okay, he's home, all's right with the world. I can go to sleep. But lately people, I do my damnedest to try to stay up. I may not stay up, but once I hear him, then like I get a jolt. And then I'll say, oh, he's home. Okay. So then I could go to sleep. But if it happens again, where I am in such a deep sleep that I don't, like he's probably long gone to sleep and I am in the living room with the TV still on. And then I wake up at two in the morning, not for, for a split second, not knowing where the hell I am. Just like Tomcat. When he wakes up from a deep sleep, it's the funniest thing. Because his, his, his fur is all bushy. His eyes are like, where am I? Like he has the look of, I don't know where I am. And it'll take him a minute and I'll just say, hey, boo-boo, well, how you doing? What's going on? And then he'll recognize, oh, that's mom. Okay, I'm good now. But he has that big wide-eyed look like, like fear. 
Like he really doesn't understand where he is, what he's doing. And I, I recognize the look and I don't freak out. I just talk to him really calm. Hey, boo-boo, how's it going? Yes, mommy, don't worry. And the eyes will just, oh, okay, I know who I, I know who that is. So I guess I go into that deep sleep, but I have nobody to boo-boo and, hey, boo-boo, it's me, nothing. I have nobody to do that to me. I, I just have to realize, oh, you, you slept in the living room again, Nancy. So I'm praying that that does not happen tonight, okay? I just want to be able to hear my father come home and then go to bed and wake up at a decent time, not too late in the Saturday morning, because I really like my Saturdays to stretch. Saturday is the actual weekend for me, that one day, that one precious, lovely, wonderful day to do whatever I need to do if I have to go out, which I thankfully do not. I don't have to go to the bank. I don't have to do any food shopping. I don't have, I'm good. So it's that one day, even though I think it's going to really be nice outside, I'm just probably going to be a homebody like I love to be and just hang out and finish watching whatever I've DVR'd and maybe I'll start to do my laundry tomorrow instead of waiting until Sunday. I always say that and then Saturday comes and I'm like, I ain't doing jack nothing. And um, I save the laundry for Sunday anyway. So we shall see what happens. Regardless of any fact, it is Friday, okay? It is Friday. And whatever the weekend holds, come what may, okay? That's just that with that upon that. So this is Lips of the Day. It is, did I even tell you what it is? I'm going on and on and I didn't do lips of the day. Now that would have been really sad. Sad and pathetic. Lips of the day, people. I'm getting ready to say goodbye to you. Didn't do what I'm supposed to do. It is a Fergie Wet n Wild lipstick, old school glam. Okay, lined with, you see I'm all over the place, right? Lined with Milani True Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade Bordeaux. Yep, in the shade Bordeaux. Uh, lined and filled is my old scratched up mm, Fergie lipstick from way back when in old school glam. This is old school glam. And this is old school glam. It's kind of a cherries in the snow-ish. It's got a hint of pink in there. If you can see, you can see that. It's got a hint of pink in there. And um, it's smooth. I don't remember if all the Fergie lipsticks were supposed to be matte. Because this is nice and creamy. It's not, it doesn't really feel like a matte at all. If it's supposed to be a matte, it's not. It doesn't feel like one. It feels nice and creamy and it stays put on, on my lips like this. Eventually, I'd give it about three and a half, four hours and then it kind of like the moisture gets sucked away and then you need, you know you need like another coat or need to refresh or, you know, whatever. So there you go. I can't believe I almost forgot to do lips of the day, people. I'm I'm yakety yakking and <sighs> I paid a bill, a bill, and uh, happy about that. Just as long as I pay my lights, my phone, my Jeep, just as long as I pay all my bills, I'm good. Okay, now, I think I can go now. I think I've done what I was supposed to do. Um, we have done this for the week. This Bourgeois Healthy Serum. What's it called? Healthy? Healthy Fix Serum. Healthy Mix Fix Healthy Mix Serum Gel Foundation. And you know what? 
when you shake it up really good, it does, the wateriness is not there. So originally when I said it was really watery, it is, it is, it's not a thick, it's far from being a thick foundation, but it does have a little, a little bit of oomph to it when you shake it up. It is really, truly a gel foundation. It comes off as a, not a stiff gel, but gel-like, jelly-ish-like. And you know what? I, I, I like it. I really do. I really like this foundation. I've come to like it. It may not be as dewy as I wanted it to be. It really isn't. It really isn't dewy at all, actually. But when I mix it with everything that I mix it with, it comes out exactly the way I want it to. And the first day of spring is when? Not the changing of the time, by the way, speaking of which. Sunday night, we spring forward, which means we lose an hour. I am not fond. But once we hit the first day of spring, I will put my liquid foundations away, and I will start with my powder foundations. So... I don't exactly know when, well, why don't I just look it up? Shoot, I can look it up on my phone. Okay, so let's see. Ah, uh, first day of spring. I could talk to my Google. Hold on. Um, I do like to have a conversation with my Google. Hey Google, when's the first day of spring? Begin on Thursday, March 19th, 2020, and ends on Saturday, June 20th, Eastern Time. What? March 19th? Here I am thinking it's a different, it's a whole different month that spring is gonna be, and it is this month. It is March 19th, the first day of spring. Okay, and it ends on June 20th, because June 20th is marks the first day of summer, I think. So, all right, so from March, well, from the first day of spring till the first day of fall is when I'll be wearing my powder foundations. So, March 19th, here come the powder foundations. So, there you have it, people. Talking to my Hey Google. Look, I am a 55-year-old woman. I am still impressed with technology, okay? You youngins, when I am dead in the dirt, gone, bye-bye, and the world will continue to spin, I can only imagine what technology will have in the future. I, whether it's for good or for evil, I, I will never know. But I am still impressed. I'm still impressed when I... You want to know who's really impressed. When I spoke to my phone the first time I did it in front of him, his eyes bugged out like what kind of foolery is that? I said, that's my phone talking to me, Pop. First, wait, this is how old my father is, okay? This is how old I am because I'm still using a uh, navigator, my, my Gar Garmin navigator. It still takes me where I want to go. And, of course, I have a, a directions navigator on the phone, too. But I like to use my Garmin because that's what I bought it for. And it still works. When, when he heard the very first time, I'll never forget it, we were going somewhere. And I think we were going to my cousin's house, who lives in Chester, New York. Like a three and a half, four hour drive, at least for me. You know, when I put the navigation system on and then it started to, you know, 300 feet, please turn left. He was like, what is that? I said, that's the, that's my navigation system, Pop. He said, it's talking to you? I said, well, it's telling me how to get to where we're going. He said, oh, I can't, then I, I, I better not talk to you because if, if she's talking to you. I said, Pop, it's, it's a machine. It's not a person. You can still have a conversation with me. 
He goes, yeah, but I don't want to interrupt if she's going to tell you what to, when to turn, and then you won't be able to hear her. And I'm like, okay, we, we, we can still talk. And, and if she starts to talk, then you can hush up. So that was the first time I saw my, fa my father's eyes widen. Then when he was, he was asking for something, of course. He was asking for uh, uh, the name of an actor from his past, of course, who made uh, uh, the name of the movie. He had the name of the movie, but he didn't know who the star of the movie was. So I asked, you know, I said, hey, Google, who is the star of and gave the name of the movie? And she answered with, the star of the movie is, says that. And he was like, oh my God, you can get anything from that phone. I said, yeah, pretty much. It's like a walking computer. He goes, but it's talking to you. I said, well, it's just filling me in on the com. He is convinced that the machine is going to have a conversation with me as if I'm having a conversation with you, which I'm really not even having a conversation with you because it's you two. So he thinks it's an actual person inside the machine. At least that's what I think he thinks. I'm thinking he thinks there's somebody, there's actually somebody in here. The man is 80. He's, I think he's going to be 89 this year, if I'm not mistaken, or 88. So leave him alone. Y'all can laugh if you want to, but that's my father, okay? I understand. All right? I understand. So that is just that with that upon that, okay? Now, just remember, all right? My father is of the era that when he was younger, they did not have televisions, okay? And he came into the television world with my mom. And the television, the screen was yay big. And then that was just black and white television, people. That was just black and white. Then when the TV turned to color, my mother was on my fault because my, my aunt, my mother's sister, she was the first one in the family to have a color television. And my mother, when she when we went to my aunt's house and everybody was like, ooh, ah, uh, I think we were watching a Miss Miss America or something. And it was the first time we had seen the gowns in color. They were yellows and blues and greens. And, and we, because and, I remember that. I remember that. I was very, very young. I was maybe four or five years old, but I still remember it. And that night, <laughs> that night, I distinctly remember my mom telling my father, look, I want a color television. I want a color television. I want to watch television like my sister. Okay, so it took a it took maybe another year or so before he before our black and white television became a color television. But this is how we're going back, people. This is how we are going back. There's going to be that generation, maybe your kids, who if you're talking to them and talking about, well, we didn't have YouTube back in the day, and your kids will probably look at you like. Just like when my parents used to talk to me and I would say, well, how did you get along if you didn't have any television? Like, and my mother, first of all, my parents are from Haiti. Okay, that, that's a whole other issue altogether. But it's a generational thing. It's, it's the way the world is spinning now. And your kids' kids are going to be more advanced than your kids are now. And your kids' kids, your grandkids, will probably talk to your kids and say something like, "What? Well, how did you get along without? Maybe the telephones will be, the telephones, the, the, the cell phones or the whatever will be different and it'll be more advanced. Well, how did you get along without that? Life goes on, people. Life goes on. It's fascinating. It's a wonderful world. The more I think about it, you know, 
it's a crappy world that we're living in, yes, but it's a wonderful world we're living in. You know what I mean? Like it's got, as in everything in life, it's got its ups, it's got its downs. I would start talking about something political, but I'm not going to mention any politics or religion. But there are a couple of people that need to be gotten away with. And I don't mean in murder. I just mean they need to go away. Far, far, far away. On that note, now it's time to go. Okay. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about everything that I've spoken about. And I will talk to you on Monday. I want everybody to have a wonderful, excellent weekend. I don't know if it's raining where you are. It is raining, not buckets or anything, but it's raining. It's that annoying rain. But it's also, huh, the weather is also another reason why I have no doubt in my mind that I will be falling asleep on the sofa. Okay, so I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about everything. And I will talk to you on Monday. Okay, I love all of you. Mwah. Bye now.